What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube. Oh, wow, Emrakul and a Blightsteel Colossus? It's basically power. That's weird, because it's Emrakul, uncommon, mythic, 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 rare, 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 rare. Common, common. Why is the uncommon up here? I mean, I'm taking the Emrakul. Like, in terms of Blightsteel and Emrakul, I like the things Emrakul lets us do. Ow, I bit my tongue. Yeah, it's going to be Emrakul. And of course we get past a Tinker. And a Eureka. Eureka's gonna... I'm thinking we're just taking Tinker. Tinker's still... Ch I think... Well, they changed this. Interesting. Oh, they made a tweet today that they took out a lot of the alternate arts. Eh. I don't know. I think having these in the new expeditions is pretty sweet. So it's kind of weird that they would do that. But I'm gonna take Tinker or Coercive Portal. Dang it! Yeah, like this is just. I think both of these should be the new expeditions. Like, just make them the new expeditions, right? Like, the the thing is, you can't please everyone. Like. Luis was a big fan of changing them, so... Ooh, Splinter Twin and Deceiver Exarch in the same pack, huh? I'm gonna take Twin. I think Twin has more components, because you have uh, Zealous Conscripts and Pestermite still, whereas you only have two of these. I think Thieving Skydiver could be great in this format. Yeah, I'm definitely taking Thieving Skydiver. We can also sack their artifact to Tinker. We're just trying to do it all here. We want to be Splinter Twinning, we want to be Tinkering, and we want to be Sneak Attacking with Emrakul. Taking care of the big problems in MTGO. Tell you what, before you decide some card should have different art, why don't you make sure they all have art? Yeah. We're definitely taking Pestermite to go with our Splinter Twin. That's pretty banging. And Deceiver Exarch might come back. Because that'd be cool. Like robots. Robots are cool. I like a Chandra. I also like a Glorybringer. Glorybringer is always surprisingly good in this cube. Music Manly. I agree and have been parroting that uh, to several people tonight. The, the difference in Georgia votes is only 1,700, and there's still about 14,000 to count. So, extremely close. I'm going to take Chandra. Oh, I wish I could take this League of Old. Hmm. I wish there was a card in here I wanted to take. Palancron? It's not good. Any tips for beginning content creators? Um, I think you asked me this yesterday, and I totally missed it. Um... not really like the thing is like when i started making content it was probably about 10 years ago and i started by submitting an email to tcg player and i was like hey this is who i am this is what i've done you know i'd love for you know i'd love for you to consider having me write for you guys and they were like yeah sure we'd love to and at the time i was like i've top aided several ptqs i'm a, I'm, a, I'm a you know i'm i'm well known on the florida ptq circuit or what have you and like that was just kind of like how I introduced myself, right? And uh, I think it was a lot easier back... I don't know. Like, it was a lot easier to... The path to, like, getting known and, like, and putting yourself out there. And, like, it, it was easier to have accomplishments back then. Like, there's no... You can't go to... Because you can't go to events now. And, like, there's no real, like... PTQs aren't really a, a, as much of a thing. So, like, you'd have to, like, I don't, I don't know. It's really hard. Like, you really have to stand out. And, like, the thing is, I just got an, I, I you know, I got an opening. And, like, I, I got an opportunity. And I kind of rolled with it. And then, like, I, I started making video content for TCG Player. I took the initiative. And I was like, hey, I'd like to make some videos. And I was, like, one of the few people who was doing that at the time, like, regularly. And that led to me, like, getting a position with them full time. To be, like, the editor and, and community manager of the site. And, um... So, like, after that, 
like that was my job for like seven years you know and so like i just kept making content and i would have like two articles go up on the side a week and then because of that i was able to work for like cfb um for my pro tour top eight i sent my tournament report to star city and now i write for cool stuff so it's like i pretty much had like once you have like your foot in that door it's very very easy but it's so hard to like distinguish yourself you know what i mean like especially because there's just so much more content now than there was when i started doing a pro wrestling inspired magic channel something a little more out there and i've been watching you since i was like 20 through 20 well Austin, i don't know how old you are now so i wouldn't i can't tell how long that is oh man this is dried up i think there would definitely be an audience for that seven years at least nice dude that's so awesome man i appreciate you makeshift mannequin is one of the instant speed ones so we're just gonna be able to discard it man this is so funny how much this dried up i was really hoping the blight steel and or the deceiver x arc would come back and neither did and I'm basically crying. <laughs> oh, that's old Austin Acid. Don't get it wrong. He's never tried acid before. Collective Brutality. I mean, we're definitely shifting Grixis here, so... We have Shriek Maul and Collective and Makeshift, so... And Rakdos Return. I mean, I like our, our, eight, our eight cards here. A Through the Breach or a Sneak Attack would be nice. I'm drinking a lot of wine tonight to calm my nerves about this election. I did a lot of acid in my 20s. It was fun, but I don't know if I could handle it now. I'm pretty sure Super Fritz is actually just a drug addict. I think we're just taking Kiki Jiki because reasons. Pestermite. Sound went out? Did the sound go out? I think it's just you. Focus right is still telling me that it's registering. Oh look, they changed the minds of the Zyra though. They're like, we can change this one. Yeah, we'll just take Kikums, McJikums. Old Big Jeeks. I kinda like Coalition Relic or Demir Signet here. I also like Kozilek in case we get through the breach or sneak attack. Guys, keep in mind the funny thing about that is if it was just him, he would never know that the sound... Even if it wasn't, no one would know that I, I was saying the sound was okay. I like Relic, Signet, and Kozilek here. Oh, what up, Aceru? Ohio's important. Everyone knows... Okay, hold on. This is a funny video. I'll probably watch after. I don't think it's Snappy Boy here. I think it's Demir Signet. If you want to splash the black, it makes it easier. It's also a two drop Signet, which is super nice. And it makes our Tinker slightly relevant. Ooh, I like a Remand. Yeah, we're just taking Remand here. It's not really close. That pack wasn't great. Thanks for the years of Greg Austin Acid. Thank you for the support, buddy. I appreciate you. Thanks for sticking with me through all, through all of it. Do 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 When did you have YouTube videos for Channel Fireball? Uh between like twenty sixteen and twenty eighteen. So we got to ready. We got season pyromancer manster. No one says manster. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, that was funny. Tiger Knight, I thought you were asking as in like, I've never heard of that. When did you have those? But in, in actuality, you were asking because that was your frame of reference. I'm just taking Duretti. I think it's better than the other ones. Interesting. This pack's not great for us. Some Elf, thank you for the gifted sub, buddy. Jimmy the Mole, thank you for the resub. Sir Strumming God, thank you for the resub. And Dan's, thank you for the resub. You guys are awesome. I love all of you. And I forgot to catch up when I came back, so thank you for the support, all of you. You're all just wonderful. I would take Goblin Electroman, so we really have like two instants and sorceries. Might be Char. I don't love it. Oh, Water Gear was decent if we're trying to ramp here. Or not ramp. I don't know why I said ramp. I was thinking I was thinking of Water Gear, but then I was talking about Thran Dynamo. Oh, Water Gear if we want to ramp, or Thran Dynamo if we want to fix our mana. Um, This does make it easier to play the black cards, which I do like. And we have nothing to Thran Dynamo into right now, so that's good. Oh, Music Manly, 270 electoral pennies. <laughs> it's topical. I'm going to take Blood Crypt here, because again, it's, it's actually pretty good for us. Nighthawk Scavenger, that's interesting. I mean, it's not this double black or bane fire. I'm just going to take the cliffs. Venser is, wow, I'm really glad Venser tabled there. That's pretty sweet. So we have Kiki and Splinter Twin with Pestermite. We know we're not going to see Deceiver Exarc. Um, hmm, Big Choops or Animate Dead? Animate Dead hits their guy, too. I do just like a good Choops. I like tubes. Man, I was actually hoping the Mere Battlesphere came back, but literally nothing came back for us. That's dis that's discouraging. How long is Vintage Cube going? I think it's two weeks, maybe three weeks. How many chups do you like? Chups, what are you even saying right now, Josh? God, he's had so much wine already. Money. Interesting. Hey, Scrober Fritz here. Just stopping by to remind you, have a bober evening. All right. I will. I'm going to take... The, eh, we'll just take Living Death. We're not going to splash green here, I can't imagine. This is very interesting. Okay. Weird. Now we have Concealed and Shambling Vent in case we want to splash on Barrow Rights. So weird. Oh, there's the Through the Breach! That's... That's kind of nice. Oh, but Dak Faden. <sighs> oh, I love... Look at the Swords of the Plowshares with the Argyle on it, guys. Yeah, I did pass Wildfire. We don't... I mean, we have nothing... We have no way to take advantage of those. We're not a Wildfire or a Burning Deck. We have one Signet. It's got to be Dak in the Vintage Cube. It just has to be, unfortunately. I, I don't like it, but I accept it. I also accept that we're a deck with Thieving Skydiver and Pestermite, two of which, both of which fly, and a Fallen Shinobi is a pretty sweet card to put into play with those guys. Is it Signet? I kind of like that. There's a channel in here, there's a reanimate. I think it's just as a signet. It's an odd color signet. It's really good. Um, one thing is that we've passed both Blightsteel and Mere Battlesphere. So the odds of like our Tinker doing anything in this deck is extremely low. Also, with this many four drops, I like having multiple signets. I kind of like Ulamog, but we didn't take the sneak attack, so it is worse for us. 
Talarian Academy also not... Why would you have this this new Talarian Academy in here? That's weird. If the Reach comes back, it's great. And we're not going to take Academy. We have literal two artifacts in our deck. <laughs> it's a, like, hope I draw one of my artifacts to make this an island. Uh, it might just be Frost Titan. Not exciting, but it's a guy. Another Emrakul. Frantic Search. Imperial Recruiter does get Pestermite or Kikijiki, which is interesting. Frantic isn't super exciting. I mean, with four mana, we can go Frantic, discard Emrakul, makeshift Mannequin. We can live that dream. It also might just be Thoughtseize. I think it's just Thoughtseize here. I think we're black enough to be Thoughtseize. I also like Baleful Strix. Baleful Strix is just another card that works really well with... Uh... Oh, Sneak Attack, though. Fudge. Oh, God. Do I just take the... Also, also Bloodstained Mire, which is fantastic. Jeez, this pack is fantastic for us. Oh, we should have taken the Bayou, actually. Dang it. The Bayou would have been much better, because then we can splash the Ancient Grudge. Uh, that would have been good. Oh, God. I mean, the problem is we have 20 playables right now. Maybe more. We could actually play other things. I think it's Bird. Oh, Lava Claw is nice. All right, we'll take a Lava Claw. I mean, we're not looking to play the Emrakul right now, unfortunately. Oh, Zealous Conscripts? Yes. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. Now we have both Zealous, Splinter, Kiki, and Pestermite. Now we have two combos. Wow, that was nice. That's what Papa likes. Thank you. Dankus, welcome back, my dude. Thank you for the resub, buddy. How many drop? This is my third. Uh, also, having Thieving Skydiver is super nice. This is 22 cards. I can see the Emrakul not making the cut right now. Doretti could be fine. Ancient Grudge could just be Mandekable. We also have Skydiver and Dak Faden, which are both artifact removals. <laughs> uh, come on, Ulamog. Give me that Ulamog. Emrakul's back on the menu, boys. This is how we see it. This is rarely going to be a two-drop because you get to steal like a Mox. X can't be zero, so you kick it for one. Um, meh, this pack's kind of mad. I'll just take the Gruel Signet. It does let us splash for... Ancient Grudge, if you really see that, see that we need that. <sighs> Siege Gang is actually fine. I don't think the Ulmog is coming back. Eh, 
walking ballista, sure. Oh, plateau? Do we care about that? I don't think so. I also don't want to play Blooming Marsh, so. Sneak attack came back. Sure. This is place to come learn how to not suck a cube. No, that would be that would be the Team J Bro stream. So we got sneak attack and through the breach back. Emrakul, Palancron. We can actually play. So here's a combo: sneak attack, Palancron, walking ballista. That's a combo. Uh, you pay a red to put Palancron into play, and you pay the four, and that's five mana total. And then it goes back to your hand, and then you play it again for five mana goes back to your hand. So if you have six mana, you're netting one every time. And then you can just kill them with Walking Ballista. Have you seen the spoof of the Urukai with, with human voices? No, I have not. I wanted to tell you I don't really use Twitter, but I have enjoyed following you. Dude, I've lost so many followers recently. I'm actually below 8,000 for the first time in a while and I'm pretty sure it's because I mostly retweet um, and and share my political opinions so if you don't like that too fucking bad like I'm sorry don't follow me you know but like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like stop saying things that I believe in you know so you're welcome if you guys do enjoy that but if not that's fine too uh 26 cards though but walking ballista is just decent sometimes and palancron sneak attack is a combo interesting but we do need to cut three things if we play it yeah you can link it for sure dankus thank you so much for saying so buddy i appreciate that man I mean, maybe we don't need both Sneak and Through the Breach. I mean, this deck seems sweet. Like, we have Splinter Twin Combo. We have Through the Breach Emrakul. We have Palancron Infinite Manas, which also works with Rakdos' Return, by the way. Maybe we add that too and we cut just like four irrelevant cards. We can cut double black Chupacabra because we already have Shriek Maw. Cut Mizium Mortars. Cut Collective. I feel like, oh, <laughs> I feel like some of you guys, one of you guys just followed me on Twitter. Nice. Appreciate you guys. Oh, that's hilarious. You're like, you know what? I'll I'll follow. Well, we don't need a lot of blue fixing because most of our fixing is black red, so we're gonna actually have a good amount of islands. But I don't I'd rather not take out Venser or Frost Titan and Palancron's part of the combo, so I mean we're definitely still a red blue deck, so we're gonna have a ton of blue cards. Blue islands. Blue cards, blue islands. <laughs> oh man, you guys are gonna get me. Yeah, oh hold on. I think we're I think we're above. I think <laughs> You guys are awesome, man. <laughs> My phone is just like, someone's followed you on Twitter. Oh, all right, cool. 
So you need one more cut. Again, I think like Palancron and Sneak Attack is a combo. Because you can make infinite mana if you have six mana, right? You go Sneak Attack into Palancron. Because you untap six each time. You tap all six, put Palancron into play and return it for five, you net a mana. You untap all six, do it again. Now I'll be told three times they're going live. That's true. You're welcome. Let's take out the char. That's not exciting. All right. Five, six, seven, eight, seven. Both these are blue. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, seven, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's 18 lands. Oh, we'll just cut one of these then. Now we're like at 777, seven, seven, which is way good. This deck's kind of. I don't know. Sword Breaker for mana cost. This guy's more like a 4 drop. This guy's more like a 3 drop. This guy can be a 2. Um, This can be a 2 as well. Probably a 4. Rakdos's return can be a no. It's, it yeah. All right, it's still fine. I unfollowed you on Twitter just to remodel. <laughs> Kyle, I appreciate you, buddy. It's real mature. Yeah, that seems good. I will keep it. Splinter Twin. Dang it. Let's get a lot of old Library of Alexandria over here. Well, I'll tap it in response. Of course you will. I am really not a fan of all these promos and alt arts. I, a, I am, and B, there's literal none on the field right now. So quick QQing, bro. Frank Honic Disciple. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm just going to play Sneak Attack. Hope to top deck Emrakul. Where you at, my, my dude? Where you at, my nerd? I'm just gonna let him play this guy. I'll tap it in response. Oh, they didn't. Okay. Well, we get a freebie out of it. Oh, oh, we did. Oh, we did a good thing. I played a land first, and I should not have done that. Okay, draw a card. You got it. Come on, no lands. Dang it. Feeling bad about my choices. Yeah, that was a mistake. But I wanted to, like, I'm like, let me make sure I have as much land as I can. And, uh... It's not ideal. Well, they have eight cards in hand. We have a lot of good things to do. Fractured identity. I mean, we're definitely zealous conscripting that and doing it again, right? Right, guys? Uh, sacrifice at the beginning of the next... I'll just keep this guy around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hmm... Hmm. 
seems good. <laughs> Emrakul's a real son of a bitch. Well, actually, it's a lady. Oh, okay, that's a good point. Fair. <sighs> so, what do we see? Fracture identity, Wall of Omens, Library of Alexandria, and that's pretty much it. Shut up and take my money. Okay. Oh, Fidel Castro's ghost. Hey, everybody. Tired of your crazy old government? Love cars from the 50s and Cuban sandwiches? Give Cuba a try. God, Fidel Castro's ghost is always keeping us honest, you know? Thank goodness. Ooh. Le Signet. I will also play an island. They're going to be like, Ancestral Recall at the end of... Oh, they didn't do it. Okay. No signet? Dang, you're like making me work for it here. Do they just have nothing? I don't understand. They have no early artifact mana. They've had no counter spells that we've seen. Oh, it said they were going to cast something, and then they're like, nah, just kidding. You remand it? Sure. <laughs> Who cares? Oh, an Elspeth. Hmm. How exciting. I don't know if you know this, but when Eminem was talking about having spaghetti on his shirt, it was because his mother Emerald could gave him a hug. That makes sense. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just got lightheaded. boy <laughs> this card it's a 2-1 flyer I just got to keep it 2-1 flyer and even if they bounce this we still get to keep this oh boy we are living the dream really no blocks okay sure I'll draw another card let's go homage oh we're red Oh, one of the red. This guy again. Oh, he lives. I don't know how they I don't know how they win this game. You got it. I, I I'm I'm just I just kinda wanna steal this when it's at eight and make all my shit indestructible. Sure. Oh my god, I'm gonna Dak Faden and steal the second chorus of Portal. <laughs> oh lord. This is the dream, guys. I don't know why I shot that at the end of the turn. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, let's go homage. I'm, I guarantee we'll be able to win the game before. See what you got. I see one of your two cards. No? Spell one, two, three. Okay, you got it. Daculum Phagulum. <laughs> Give me all your shit. 
Remember that time we were talking about how good this deck felt? Oh yeah, we're in it right now. So they have one planes, huh? Sounds good. We get to Ancestral every turn, guys. Plus I also get to pitch like two of these cards, but really... What's the point? Look at all my things in my hand. Do 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 do. So. All right. Shandy. Little Shandy. Add two red. You know what? I do have cards I don't care about right now, so. Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Well, that was a that was a rollicking battle. Did they have a family? <laughs> All right. He was one day away from retirement. Man, thought season to Signet seems good. Oh, they mulligan to six? I'll take it. See what you're working with here. What kind of broken nonsense you got? Hmm. I can kill these two. I don't care about those. Oh, Knight of the Reliquary is kind of obnoxious. Don't care about my graveyard. Sword is kind of irritating. I think Knight is the most irritating because I don't want them to kill my Signet. And it's the only card they can like actually play here. Scavenging news? Sure. Oof. One, two, three. So we can we can make them discard two cards. Next turn they play sword, and we can kill this guy. I feel like we just make them discard two of their four cards here. Oh, we can also just steal the sword with this. Oh jeez. How does Knight kill a Signet? Oh, this is Knight of the Reliquary, not Knight of Autumn. Oh, God, I would have definitely let them keep that instead of, like, Ren and Six. Oh, for some reason, I thought it was stupid Knight of the Knight of Autumn. Oh, my God. It's because I never have this in my cube, and I don't associate it as a cube card because I'm just like, I don't think it's good. <laughs> I think it's pretty bad. Does that card have more abilities? No, it doesn't. I just thought it was Knight of Autumn. Same casting cost, and it says Knight of, and I was just like, oh, it's a Knight of Autumn, obviously. Oh, they discarded the two cards I knew about. That's fascinating. Interesting. Okay. Well, isn't that sad? Shh. 
I don't see a benefit to playing either of these, except for, I mean, like, Shriekmaw just gets our Signet back, but that doesn't do much. Yeah, we're just gonna pass here. I just don't feel like this is good enough to just play on its own as a 2 1, especially, uh. It just doesn't feel good. I, I mean, I'd rather just take a couple more points and. Not have to worry about it. Yeah, I'll take five here. I mean, any any land is great here except for Black Cleave Cliffs, right? Frost Titan. It's a, it's a good one. Wow, I'm actually surprised how badly this Demir Signet hurt us. I mean, I have one card, so I'm probably just going to choose not to die instead of uh, <laughs> instead of holding this for the random artifact they may never show. Sure. Yep. Seems good. And of course they show the artifact the very next turn. That's fascinating. Yep. And we're definitely just gonna have to frost titan here with another blue source. Flame slash. <laughs> Does nothing. Oh god. This is wild. Maybe they forget. Of course, the turn after we play Skydiver is the turn they... Yep. I mean, this prevents us being six next turn, which is, like, the important part. <sighs> wow, this is amazing. I can't believe we're losing this game. They mulled to six. We got to Thoughtseize and Rakdos return. Then we had Shriekma and Thieving Skydiver, and they had two equipment, and it's, like, that's pretty wild. Yeah, keep this idiot tap down forever. <sighs> sure. This is an amazing card because, like... <laughs> Now they get a 1-1. One, one. And then if they move this over, they kill us. Like, we're actually just... I think we're just dead here. So if we take two, we go to five. We could actually shoot this with Chandra. It forces them to use this twice. And then they have no Jitte counters. I think that's correct. Jute counters are gone now. So, we can sit back and block one of these guys. 
which I think is correct because if we tap one, they just literally equip it to the other guy. Whereas right now they're kind of forced to attack Shondor with both. And we get to eat the Relic Warder and then keep Tithe Taker tap down forever. Assuming they don't have like a one mana. Yeah, that's fine. So we just get to keep Chandra? That's pretty ridiculous. And they can't re-equip the Jitte this turn? That's pretty good for us. I'm going to play this because if we get Walking Ballista, I want to be able to cast it for full value. It was an island. Yep, now we're dead. <laughs> Just literally hit two two lands in a row, I guess, and we're dead. That's pretty ridiculous. Yep, so now they just equip this guy and kill us. Wow. Amazing. That wasn't actually the the, the I I don't actually know what else could have gone wrong in that game. Yeah, Venser would have been great there. That's almost shocking. Yeah, Museum Order seems good against this stupid matchup. Um like, we literally couldn't hit fifth land. They had to have Leon and Relic Warder drawn in order to uh, take our land, or take our take our Signet, which is the fifth land that we needed for Shriekmaw. Um, they play a Jitte the turn after we play Thieving Skydiver. Literally whiffed on lands for several turns. <sighs> what can you do? Let's take Palancron out. Actually bring in Brutality for Rakdos return, but it's too late now. It's too late. Oh, this hand seems fantastic. So next up we can go uh, Remand into... Oh, actually, dude, I don't even hate Splinter Twin on this guy. That's interesting. Come on, Fallen Shinobi one time. One time... Yeah, you just remand whatever they have here. Black Cleave Cliffs. Oh, Zealous Conscripts. This is fascinating. Let's just run Kiki Jiki out there. That puts us in a real sweet position, because even if they get to kill Kiki, we still get to fall in Shinobi them. That's nice. Yeah, they're dead. I guess we have to hit a land, right? Hmm, that's fascinating. So, we can go Kiki-Jiki... Copy Baleful Strix for the land. Not find it. Well, that was sad. I don't think they're going to have any other haste creatures here, so I'm just going to pass. That was surprisingly good. Wow. Prevented us from falling into Shinobi and Zealous Conscripting. Well, that's death. Kill the Baleful Strix. You got it. I just want to see what else your deck has, because this is free. 
Revel Arc and Recruiter. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. What did we want? Uh, collective Brutality instead of like Rakdos Return, I think. Also, don't hate Chupacabra here. Yes, Kiki Conscripts works, which is why we won the game. Zell's Conscripts untaps Kiki Jiki and gives it haste. Kiki Jiki copies Zell's Conscripts. The copy of Zell's Conscripts untaps Kiki Jiki and gives it haste. You make a copy. Yeah, it just keep it keeps going. I kind of like Choops instead of Venser here, to be quite honest. Uh, snap keep. <laughs> Always with the snap keeps. Okay, so we got a remand. Not gonna love a Ren and Six here, especially. Oh, they didn't do anything. That's fascinating. Do they play a land this turn? Yeah, they played a forest. Yeah, I'm just gonna flame slash that and keep remand up again. Yeah, it seems great for us. Oof. No bueno. Hmm. Well, that is unfortunate, as the kids say. Would love to play a Chandra here. I probably should have played Island because it might have convinced them to kill Watery Grave. Oh, they're just face fettering that. Well, that's kind of cool. Second red would be great. Yep, it's your boy again. Sure. Still need two red sources. I'll take two, my dude. And relic order, huh? Um, 
shoot him. Shoot him. That's fine. They have like nothing left right now, so. Ooh, lava claw reaches. That's what Papa likes. Oh, they're keeping him. Wow, I've never seen such a thing. I think it's running, not walking. It definitely has some legs there. Whoa! Definitely taking Glorybringer. That's a nice hit. So your last card is Embrus Shieldbreaker, which I don't even really care about. That's just fine. Oh man, Shriek is a win condition here. Okay, second red's really becoming a an issue. So they got Shieldbreaker and two other one other card. Nice. Okay, they're just playing that guy. Oh. Sometimes there's moments where you just get so excited that you're like, oh. Oof boy. We got our second red and we got a free smuggler's copter. Oh, give it to me. Oh, they just conceded. <laughs> oh boy, we have a good time. Good grief, man. Oh my god, I can't sneak in the Chandra for so many reasons, and you know it. Keep. We can do better. I mean, the fact that it was literally a red source that came into play untapped, and we had exactly four to play Chandra, and we got a free uh, Smuggler's Copter. I mean, I understand. And we have two cards that combo with this. We have like three cards that combo with this, including uh, Pestermite, Thieving, Dive Master. I don't know what it's called. And uh, Baleful Strix. So. Plus they mold to five and we get to put them to four here. Oh boy. Treachery, Sun Titan, Charter Course, and Lotus. Let's take Lotus. <laughs> wow, that was a hand right there. Yep. Oh my god. This is what living the dream feels like? Oh boy. The worst part about Fallen Shinobi is a lot of times the first time you play him is after you've played your fourth land. Oh boy, the whiffs. Oof. 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 <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, it's a little awkward for everybody. Everybody have a good time. I mean, unfortunately, Collective Brutality doesn't hit. I imagine they have a deck. Like, they have Sun Titan. They have Charter Course. We saw Charter Course, Sun Titan, Treachery, and Lotus. Matthew, Superfoods, how many nights a week are you eating nugs, buddy? I'm concerned for your well-being. Uh, if I don't see a bribery, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna board out bribery just because they have a blue deck. Like, I mean, if they have a bribery, they're gonna they're gonna play it. So, 
it's not like they're boarding it in against our Emrakul, you know? I'm just going to submit. I don't think we've seen nearly enough to make a, a distinction. This also seems good. I think we can just Lava Crypt later. Lava Crypt. <laughs> That's a Blood Crypt and a Lava Claw reaches together. Today we're coming to America. I think we're going to Thoughtseize into Signet into Lava Claw Remand. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh boy. Get a load of this guy. Glenelendra. Consecrated Sphinx. Count Nugula. One, two, three, four, five minutes away. Oh, oh, oh. See, that's quality. That's a quality tweet. God, Consecrated Sphinx is much harder to deal with. They can cast it in two turns. We could remand it for a turn, but is that... <laughs> Frank versus Neil Diamond is the album I never thought I needed in my... Touching you, sweet Caroline. Ba -ba -da. I think it's got to be Glenelendra here. I don't love it at all. Ugh, God, that feels bad. Okay. They're going to chart a course, discard Swamp. Wow. What are we hoping for? Yep, that's exactly what they did. I think it's called Consecrated Sphinx here. Ugh. I feel like they have bad news. Maybe it was a bad pick. I don't know, man. Shut up and take my money. Nug zombie, dig through the ditches and burn through the winches and slam in the back of my Nugula. Oh, they jaced instead of consecrating Sphinxing. Well, that's fan. That's fascinating. Second blue. So we're just going to play reaches here and then keep up the remand, I guess? Boy. Okay, sure. I'll get Ancestor Recall to go with my Black Lotus. I'm going to get Exhum. Okie dokie. Wish I had a way to discard a land. We're coming to America today. Guys, when are you even going to get here? Are you guys coming to America today or what? Actually, do I just like, can I just activate this and kill their Jace? That seems juicy, right? Man, your Jace is junk. Put it in the garbage can. Jace. 
Sure. Exhume your Glenelendra. Have you ever tried peanut puffs? No, but maybe. It's got a hard cast Kiki Jiki here. They're just conceding. Oh my god! Wow, what a dick, what a victory, what a time to be alive. Let's look at our... Let's open this treasure chest, guys, because, you know, I can't resist it. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Five play points. One Call the Skybreaker. And one Lost in the Woods. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Manitraders.com. You can get 15% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. And also check out Twitch.tv slash Frank Report if you're watching on YouTube. And I'll see you next time.